Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I got the Velez 29 and the Blackjack 24 on the block. All right. Uh, this will be a quick video. This is for the, the those of you who are new to RC boating. You know, you got an RC boat or a starter boat, one of your first boats. You're going to soup it up. You know, you're going to put a big motor, big, big ESC in it. You want it to go fast. And uh, I got a cooling... I got a cooling tip that will help you guys out, okay? And it actually makes your boat look pretty cool. All right, it looks cool. See the green and white there. Um, a lot of times when you make an RC boat go fast, you know, the faster it is, the more pressure that's in the cooling, cooling system, okay? The cooling system that basically pressurizes, water goes in, it goes to your motor or ESC and out the boat. Depending on how big your cooling exits are, it really depends on how much pressure is in the system. Uh, when you go fast, a lot of times that water is going in your rudder or, you know, in the motor. And a lot of times, you know, the faster the boat goes, the more potential you have for a water line blowing off your rudder or water pickups. Okay, and that's all, it's all fine and good, you know, on the outside of the boat. You know what I'm saying? It, it blows off. You just basically lose cooling for your motor or ESC. But if you have a cooling line blow off in the boat, in the boat, okay, water's going to be traveling through the system and it will potentially sink your boat if you're not, if you don't, if you don't check it or realize it, you know? So you want to make sure your cooling lines are, are in place, okay, and the, the lines don't blow off your motor or ESC. Now this really only happens when you're making a boat go fast. Okay, like this boat right here, it, it's a fast boat. I've had it up to like 95. This is a fast boat too. I've had it up to 73 miles an hour, no flip. Um, and the faster it goes, the more pressure, the, the, the more odds of the lines blowing off. Now you can use a zip tie. Okay, you could just put a zip tie over your cooling line. Boom, boom, boom. It works. It don't work all that great. It kind of looks silly. It's an eyesore. And you got all these little zip ties all over your boat. It just don't look good. So, um, so what I like to do, uh, actually one of my subscribers sent me an email. He showed me how to do this. <clears throat> and I've been doing it ever since. What I like to do is just cut a piece of silicone line. The same silicone lines you use for your boat. Okay. Uh, or it don't even have to be the same. Like I'm going to put red on my on this black jack 24 with the blue or clear lines and you just cut a little slither of it you just cut a little slither and you slide it over your your cooling line and nipple okay and it and it actually does a pretty good job of hold, holding your cooling lines on so they don't blow off while you're underway so i'll show you how to do it so yeah you basically just need an extra piece of cooling line some some like needle nose pliers to stretch it over your line and some scissors okay uh you can cut it as large or as long or as short as you want you know i'm gonna cut mine about right there all right and um i guess the shorter the shorter you make it the easier it will be to to get on your cooling lines the longer it is the, the harder it is to stretch out and get on your on your line it actually looks pretty cool once you have it have it all installed on your cooling lines so you just take a piece of silicone line, cut it to size, okay, stretch it over your main line, and it's actually kind of a pain in the butt, you know, it's actually kind of a pain in the butt. So, uh, just got to press fit it on your, on your little slither of silicone line. The shorter you make it, the easier it will be to get on your main lines, okay, you guys see how I got it there? I got my line pushed on it. Now I can pull my, my pliers off. All right. And uh, if it looks something like that, you could just trim up the end. Okay. And then you just press it on your on your on your nipple. Okay. The longer it is, the more pressure is going to be put on the, on the nipple. All right. So I make mine kind of long because I used to make them short, but I had them blow off. So you make them a you know I don't know maybe what five eight nine millimeters long and it, and it actually works pretty good or i guess make it the length of your nipple you know that works too you know and uh that thing's not gonna blow off now i mean it's it's on there it's on there you know so i'm gonna go ahead and do it to all of them inside and outside the boat you know uh especially on the inside you know 
and you don't really think about that when you're uh when you're building your boat you know um i run in like brackish water a lot of times because it's like the only large area of water i have so i definitely don't want to take any chances of my cooling lines blowing off while i'm underway in the water in that brackish salt water you know so um i've done this to all my boats and i've actually showed you guys i've actually showed you guys this in previous videos but it's like halfway into like a 30 minute video you know and a lot of guys they probably only watch like 30 seconds of my videos and then turn it to another channel but uh I figured I'd just make a one video dedicated to to this modification because it's actually a pretty important mod, especially with these go fast boats, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to do, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, got that on there. Yeah, and then you just slide it on. This one right here might be kind of tough because it's not a nip a nipple, so you can just kind of carefully slide it on there. And, uh, you know, you can, you can actually color coordinate your boat with this, you know, red on red. Or like I did on my Velez, white and green to match the boat. Looks pretty cool. Alright, so uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the motor. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm not going to bore you with all that. So it actually looks pretty good. You know, I, I, I kind of mix matched the black on red. You know, red for the outside, black on the inside. You know, um, mix matched them on this. So it kind of matches the theme of the boat. You know, it works. And this is like, you know, a lot of my regular subscribers, viewers, you guys know this already. But this is for the new boaters, the new guys out. You know, something to keep you busy, a little uh, personalized and accent your boat plus it will actually save your boat from sinking you know so hopefully this helps you guys out big b with ironclad rc